welcome back. Welcome back to Fred in the Shed. And uh, on the last video, on the PMR video, we looked at these two radios, the uh, Bofang 888 Plus and the Bofang 888S. And we compared these uh, two radios with their performance. And to, well, to my ears, um, it's a bit, you know, a bit difference of opinion on the comments, but I felt that the Plus did have a slightly better audio, it was a little bit louder. And what I did say was that when you look at the length of the antennas, the Plus has a slightly longer antenna. And uh, I said I'll do some more testing to find out whether it was just the antenna that was causing the uh, sort of better signal, or in fact, well, it may have been that the Plus was slightly better. But anyway, we were gonna look at the uh, antenna. So I've got one of these uh, Nagoya, I think that's how you pronounce it, Nagoya, uh, NA771 whip antennas. Uh, it's a straightforward SMA standard replacement and as you can see the antenna itself is a lot longer. It's probably uh, about three times as long as what you get with the standard antenna on the uh, on the bow phone. So you know you can buy these uh, in the UK shops. Genuine items it's pretty much I think last time I looked for about 11 or 12 pounds which isn't bad but when you consider it's a 10 pound radio or even less if you get it from China you know the antenna is going to cost you more than the radio so this one you're looking at here this is a eBay cheapy knockoff <laughs> yeah that's right you, you, you get those that are new to the channel you kind of see where this is sort of going I, I tend not to spend a full price on things not for, not not for these cheap radios so this one is actually a replica even though it's got all of the hologram and everything I mean they, they certainly uh, they certainly do it very very well but uh, basically when you open it up, you get the uh, antenna with the, uh, it's got all of the sort of counterfeit writing. And uh, now I did do some research on these and I did find a couple of videos. And when they've tested the standard Nagola like 11, 12 pound antenna against the, uh, the clone antennas, they didn't really find any noticeable difference. I suppose, I mean, you know, when, when you're looking at it really, it's just a coiled piece of spring wire going up the uh, sort of length of the antenna itself. Now, these antennas say that they're actually tuned for the, uh, the 144 megahertz band and also up to 430 megahertz, which is a little bit below the 446 megahertz PMR band, which is what I use these radios for. In practice, I've had this antenna on the UV5R now, or I don't know, well, since I've had it, so a couple of years and I've not noticed any issues whatsoever. So it does appear that these antennas will go up to the 446 without, uh, without any problems. So this is what I'm gonna to do today. Now, I'm not gonna be using the Plus. Um, I don't really like it, to be honest. <laughs> That's my honest opinion. It's a, I think it works and it seems to be a good, good enough radio, but you know, I said, as I said on the last video, if you haven't seen that, I'll link that one at the end of this. I, I'm not in love with the way the radio feels. Um, probably not for me. So gonna be using the cheaper Treble 8 S. Um, I'm blown away with this radio, to be honest. Um, you know, 10 pounds or less, I believe you can get them for about six pounds now, if you wanna send off and wait from China. So we're gonna be, dis well, I'll do it now. We're gonna be obviously disconnecting the uh, stand antenna. We're gonna put in the 771. That's it, job done. And then we're going to go out and do some uh, range tests. I'll try and keep this video, should make it a little bit shorter than the last one. But I want to, we'll push it with the standard antenna. And we'll uh, basically go out and see where that gives out. And then I will, shall we place it with the 771. And hopefully we will notice a step up in the clarity of the uh, receive on the UV5i. It should make quite a bit of difference. I mean, you'd expect it to being three times as long. However, you know, sometimes well, things don't quite work out the way you expect. So that's what we're gonna do. By the way, this, this clone antenna, would you believe, this was 99 pence on eBay. <laughs> I know I'm tighter than a uh, duck's backside, aren't I? But 99 pence for a clone antenna. So, you know, 10 pound radio, 99p antenna, um, you're still basically less than sort of 11, 12, around about 11, 12 pounds for uh, which hopefully is going to be a very usable 446 public PMR band PMR band radio. I won't not be I won't be testing obviously these radios are only uh, UHF. I won't be testing anything down in the uh, VHF because I'm not licensed to do that and I and I do not uh, actually go on any of the ham bands. Uh, I don't do any of that. 
All right, okay, that's what the video is going to be. Uh, thanks for watching this part, and I'll catch you all on the testing. Right, so you all know the format. I'm sure you're sick to the teeth of these videos by now. I'm going to get the uh, all faithful UV5R with its own 771 antenna, and uh, going to go out in the car and do some range testing and just sort of see how far we can push the standard antenna and then I'll, uh, I'll swap back to the 771 and hopefully we should see an improvement for our 99p. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, we'll find out whether it is works or it's a complete load of uh, rubbish. Okay, right, the next bits will uh, be the tests. Power on. Six. Right, first test. Um, point four, about point 0.4 of a mile according to the car's uh, mileometer. And just sitting inside the car for this one because I can't really get out, there's too many uh, cars about. So, quick test them, just as this one should work, no problem. Yeah, audio test, audio test, one, two, one, two on the Bofang with a standard antenna, standard antenna, about 0.4 of a mile. Yeah, audio test, audio test, one, two, one, two on the Bofang with a standard antenna, standard antenna, about 0.4 of a mile. Same test them with the uh, 771 antenna. Yeah, audio test, audio test, about 0.4 of a mile on the longer 7771, 771 antenna. Audio, 1234. Yeah, audio test, audio test, about 0.4 of a mile on the longer 7771, 771 antenna. Audio, 1234. Okay, second test now. Come out 0.9 of a mile according to the mileometer on the car and I'm uh, going to give it a test with the standard antenna. Yeah, standard antenna test, standard antenna test at 0.9 of one mile, 0.1 of one mile, audio, one two, one two, audio, thread in the shed. Yeah, standard antenna test, standard antenna test at 0.9 of one mile, 0.1 of one mile, audio, one two, one two, audio, thread in the shed. So, yeah, 0.9 of a mile, with the uh, longer 771 antenna. Yeah, audio test, audio test, 0.9 of one mile with the 771 longer antenna. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, old thread in the shed in the rain. <laughs> one testing, one, two, audio. Yeah, audio test, audio test, 0.9 of one mile with the 771 longer antenna. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two, old thread in the shed in the rain. <laughs> one testing, one, two, audio. Right, uh, 1.6 miles according to the, uh, the car trip. It's a massive ask on the standard antenna, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, audio test, audio test on the Bofang at 1.6 miles with the standard short antenna. Audio, one, two, one, two, audio, audio, one, two. So, same test um, with the larger antenna now at the furthest distance. So let's give it a go. Let's see if we can get back. Yeah, audio one two one two audio on the larger antenna seven seven one uh, one point six miles at the seven seven one antenna. Being looked at, standing in the rain, getting wet. Audio one two one two test audio. So that's the testing done. Um, what did you guys think? What did you think? I mean, before I get on to what I think, uh, firstly, I mean, this little radio, you know, 10 pounds UK delivered, about six pounds something from China with a standard little, whip, little, you know, rubber ducky antenna. I was very, very impressed. When I got out to that uh, 1.6 mile point, now bear in mind that was on the car uh, mileometer, so I've gone round the houses, so that may be about 1.2 to 1.3 miles in sort of real terms but even so we call it 1.3 miles you know to get back to the qth um very very impressed right you know handheld to handheld remember that's not a home base so i mean god you know guys 10 pounds uk six pounds odd china one of these delivered i mean you can't go wrong you just cannot go wrong um as for the uh, as for the test for the antenna well i think 
the, the longer antenna did make a difference, uh, especially when I was in the car at the short range, it seemed to beef up the signal a little bit. And then when I was out to the long, the last test, 1.3, 1.6 miles around there, it certainly did produce a much kind of stronger signal, I think. I haven't got obviously a signal meter on a UV5R, but I think if they had a signal meter, then uh, yeah, you would definitely sort of see, see a difference. Not a massive difference, this was still readable, but it certainly uh, did improve things. For 99 pence, yeah, definitely worth getting one of these, shoving it on the treble AS there, and uh, well, does the business. But let me know what you think in the comments, because obviously, you know, everyone's subjective. Let me know if you, if you think it really did sort of sound all that much better. So anyway, you'll be pleased to know that I'm gonna to come to an end of these uh, PMR type sort of videos. I, I, I know the views are dropping down. <laughs> the views are dropping down on each one I do. There'll be one more, um, maybe a couple of weeks time or so. What I've done, I've ordered in a second UV5R. And I think it'll be interesting to test a UV5R against a, a Bofong AAAS. Bear in mind, this, this UV5R is more than twice the price of a AAAS. So it'll be interesting to see what you get for your money, um, you know, in a different set. So that, that one will be coming up, and then that will be the last one. <laughs> You've stuck with it so far. I do appreciate it. So that concludes it for this one. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it the uh, the thumbs up. That uh, helps me because I know you're, <laughs> you're enjoying them and you want more videos. And uh, it also helps helps the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, if you want to see more videos that I'm going to produce. But uh, yeah, as for now, as always, cheers. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you all on the next one.